Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, I have recently found myself very much enjoying a particular brand of drink. That brand is Celsius Sparkling Water. Unlike Bubbly, yes I'm slamming Bubbly in this video because it tastes terrible, it doesn't have taste, and generally it's just bad. I hate it. This is much, much better tasting than Bubbly. From the labels, it seems better for you. Now, am I arguing that Celsius is healthy for you? It depends on your definition of healthy. As far as caffeine contained, it does have caffeine in it, which is slightly unfortunate. It, it does have sucralose in it, which is, again, slightly unfortunate. Uh, however, it does not have copious amounts of sucralose in it, unlike some other drinks that I've had uh, on the channel. It does not have insane amounts of sucralose. <coughs> <clears throat> that was weird. This is the Celsius Sparkling Lemon Lime. I can tell you with confidence I've only ever had two flavors of Celsius before. The orange flavor, which I tried for the first time, and it hooked me on it because it was the only orange flavored drink that I legitimately, like, really, really enjoyed that gave me energy. I like, like, citrusy flavors. Uh, lemon Lime Gatorade is my favorite flavor of Gatorade. I know that's a bit controversial. I don't really know why. But this is Celsius Lemon Lime. The can's absolutely beat up, but we're gonna drink it anyway, cause no guts, no glory, am I right, gamers? <sighs> it's a Slim Can. Thankfully, I bought a can koozie that can also fit Slim Cans. So, Slim, that's, that's fine, I suppose. It is 12 fluid ounces, though, which is not a lot, right? That, like, this is the same as just a regular can. Um, take a quick little gander at the label. No high fructose corn syrup, no aspartame, no preservatives, no artificial colors or flavors. Seven essential vitamins proven in six published universities. I am of the mind that if something promotes itself as healthy, it's probably not super healthy, which is why I don't drink one of these very frequently. I usually drink about two a week, right? That's not too terrible. That also doesn't add up to too much per month that I'm paying for these. There are 10 calories in this entire can. Zero grams of sugar, several vitamins that I don't feel like listing all, a Meta Plus proprietary brand, 1.81 grams of that. Uh, it does have caffeine in it. So other ingredients, carbonated filtered water, citric acid, natural flavor, sucralose, and 200 milligrams total caffeine uh, per can. Do not exceed two servings per day. That's just letting you know, you know, hey, the safe limit is 400 milligrams of caffeine a day, which means two Celsius a day is your daily limit of caffeine. Essential energy, accelerates metabolism, burns body fat. Again, all of that's very questionable. Like, I drank one of these before a run one time. I didn't notice any, like, particularly insane benefits, right? I didn't, I didn't really notice any insane benefits from drinking one of these, but we are about to absolutely drink this, and I'm going to give my brutal, honest opinions on this. The, the orange-flavored one that I have, I'll do a drink review on them, but it's a solid, like, 8 or a 9 out of 10. It's very good, so I have big expectations for this. I'm hoping that it'll get a 9. It might just get a 10. Doubt it very strongly. I'll tell you why in a minute. Drink test. Alright. Am I gonna knock it points for, like, unhealthy? No. Why? Because it does have a lot of vitamins in it. And despite the fact that it has caffeine in it, it does not have insane amounts of sucralose in it. It's not super, super sweet, but it's also not bitter. One leg up on bubbly. This is good. I really, really like this. Is it better than the orange? Yes. What am I going to knock it points for? That's a great question. I'm going to knock it points for price. Yeah, price per fluid ounce. At most gas stations, this is three bucks. Three bucks for a can of this. Granted, 
I did get this from Walmart. It was like $2.18 at Walmart. That's cheaper. However, it is a slim can. How many points am I going to knock it for that? I'm going to knock it half a point for that. Second, I'm going to knock it half a point. For the simple fact that there isn't much of it. Like, this is one of the best flavored drinks that I've had on the channel. I prefer this over the Spider-Man G Fuel. I prefer this over the PewDiePie G Fuel. This doesn't kick you in the teeth quite as much. It's much more subtle than any of the G Fuel flavors I've had up to this point. Is it weird that I can feel the caffeine hitting my brain already? That's like, that's really weird, but we're gonna roll with it. This is still very, very good. So overall, what's the rating? Nine out of 10. It's very good. If you have not tried this before and you have $2.18 at your nearest Walmart, potentially slightly more due to inflation, then, you know, pick one of these up. Try one. It's pretty good. I really like it. It's um very close to the orange flavor. It is slightly better. And it is definitely better than, I believe, the Arctic Vibe Celsius that I tried a couple weeks ago. It's definitely better than the Arctic Vibe. I didn't really care for the Arctic Vibe very much. As far as color for liquid goes, it, it looks pretty clear. Um, clear with maybe a slight, slight hint of like yellow or green because of the citric acid. Uh, but this is very good. I'm going to drink the rest of this probably in the next hour or two, just because it tastes good. Thank you so much for watching this drink review. And for the serious note of the drink review, because there always has to be a serious note at the end, thank you so much for watching the videos in 2023 so far. I know they've been a little bit slow to come out, but guess what? I also feel like the couple videos that I've released in 2023 so far are some of my highest quality videos like ever and i do legitimately mean that the sunday biscuits episode that stinking popped off holy cow i did not expect that to get that many views that was great i was really really happy with how well that video did i'm happy that the video you know was well received i'm happy that a lot of people watched it and hopefully a lot of people got some very useful information out of it the sunday biscuits episode at the time of recording this that just came out a couple days ago was the uh, the Marvel again Sunday Biscuits episode and I'm learning that I need to put more time into editing things so if the uh, if the frequency of videos halts a tiny bit sorry <laughs> like if the frequency of videos decreases I would basically what I'm trying to say and what I've been rambling on and on about is I would rather give you guys quality over quantity personally that's me if that means we're dropping back to two videos a week that's okay if that means you know if i could i i have a couple things in the works right now where i might be able to daily upload for for quite some time but i have to make a decision do i daily upload and consider like risk ruining my algorithm for you guys or do I not daily upload and do I take a more structured path of tutorials reviews and podcasts that's a great question that I need answered answer in the comments down below no I'm just kidding thank you all so much for watching I'm sorry for rambling um I got you thank you hold on one sec uh thank you so much for watching this drink review I heard you hold on um and subscribe i suppose follow me i never plug these but i have an instagram and a twitter handles on the screen right now um oh you're right i'm sorry here was it good you like it yeah me too till the next time i'll talk to y'all later Bye. That'd be really funny if I accidentally knocked the fish off the wall live on camera. That'd get some views.